Well, Shimano have just registered a new patent for an electronic braking system. Now, why would they go to an electronic braking system? What are the advantages? And what does this offer the consumer? Well, let's roll that intro and let's see what this could offer us as purchasers of high-end bicycles. So what is this new system that they're offering and how does it work? Well, the first thing it is, it's an electronic system, but it's not a full electronic system. So that means it doesn't have like a power source that goes down to the caliper that has some a little electric motor that closes the piston and pushes the pads against the disc and takes them out again. What it is, it's a hybrid system. So the electronic system really is just from the handle which electronically applies a sensor that then will control a plunger that's in a hydraulic weather bar, and then will the rest of the system is hydraulic as it is now. Now you go, why bother going to all this hassle and making a system where only part of the system is electric, but the rest of it is the conventional hydraulic type of system? Well, the advantage of this design change of the system where you have the electronic components up there in the hoods is that you can make the hoods a lot, lot smaller because the reservoir and the actuation system can be fitted somewhere else on the bike. Could be in the handlebars, could be in the stem, could be in the forks. So what that does is it makes the hoods a lot smaller and are not neater and we don't have these massive hoods that we have on the handlebars that we have currently. The second advantage to it is they could introduce an anti-lock braking system because the, the electronics could work on a sensor that picks up whether the wheel's still turning or not, and this could be mounted in the actual caliper, and then once that happens, and it senses that the wheel's starting to slow down or lock up, it could release the brake manually, although you haven't released the handle. So the wheel will always continue to turn, or it could sense the locking up of the back wheel, so then you can't be thrown over the handlebars. Now these are probably really good features, but what we need to ask ourselves, is this really going to make the system too complex or too heavy? Because what we don't want is the system to get heavier. Now, the cons of this system is that we're still dealing with a hydraulic system where we have to get the bubbles out, so we don't have any squishiness in the system and that will be more effective because the actuator won't be able to adjust for that loss. It'll just move the piston as much as it does because it's not, it probably won't be that smart. So the actual hydraulic part of the system will have to be perfectly set up and then we still have all of the problems of a hydraulic piston that's in a bellows that then pushes the brake pads onto the disc and whether they move back off the disc evenly or enough then we're still going to have rubbing and all of the squeaks and all the other problems that we have with disc brakes currently because that part of the system is still the design as it is currently. Well, in conclusion, I suppose the real elephant in the room that everyone's thinking, what happens if the battery goes flat when you have any sort of a powered electronic system on your bike and brakes are a safety feature? Now, unfortunately, they're gonna to have to make the brakes fail safe on. So as the battery comes to a place where the voltage is starting to drop, you'll find that the brakes will then slowly just go on and just clamp the brake so you can't ride it. And that'll be the fail safe condition. Now, a good thing that they could offer is in those situations, you could also program it that when you go to a cafe, it locks the brakes on so people can't wheel your bike away, even though they can still carry it. But it's a slight deterrent. So that'd be another feature that they could add. Now, I really admire Shimano for thinking outside the box, but what I would have liked to have seen is a commitment to maybe even full electric. So instead of having a hydraulic system, we just have a wire that goes down to the caliper or a fiber optic tube that goes down to the caliper and it uses some coding information to run that caliper and then they actually have a very very tiny high speed actuator that moves the pads onto the disc. This would give them a lot more control even though it might be a little bit more complicated to design because they need to get the speed and power into the actuation through the, for the gearbox that pushes the pads onto the rotor. 
but it would it would get rid of a lot of the problems that we have with the hydraulic disc brakes we've got at the moment. Well, anyway, guys, what do you think about electronic brakes? Do you think they're a good idea? Or do you think that there is ways of solving these problems with the hydraulic system we got now? And uh, whatever that is, just leave it down below. Leave it down in the comments because I'd like to hear your views. But uh, I would personally like to see a fully, if they're going to go electronic, partly electronic, you know, go full in and let's have a fully, a fully electronic uh, battery powered system rather than a hybrid system. I don't think a hybrid system is really going to offer too much more. Well, anyway, guys, that's where I'm leaving it. That's the video for today. See you next vid. Take care. Keep riding.